which is going to make a significant impact. I suppose that the, the blades are the ones that I thought would come through and didn't. Um, Paul Cleary, very good songwriter, I suppose didn't get the breaks. There were a lot of good bands. The names will mean nothing to the vast majority of people now. But that shouldn't take away from what they achieved themselves and also contributed in creating the kind of environment from which the likes of U2 and Sinead O'Connor could emerge. The first five singles by The Blades, between about whatever it was, I don't know what it was, that must have been about 78 to about 81 or something like that. Those first five singles by The Blades were the first five singles by any band I've ever heard in my entire life. They were absolutely brilliant. I think that what happened in Ireland, for a different reason, was happening in America and Britain. In other words, that whatever the kids in America were feeling, they wanted out of their little world. And they got out through drugs. The Ramones, Blondie, um, television, uh, Johnny Thunder's Heartbreakers. When punk rock groups like The Clash or The Sex Pistols perform, the hundreds of unemployed young people who go to their concerts and listen to their songs know that those songs are the story.